things he bears to those who trust in his ways. Every moment of every day, our God is waiting to save, always ready to seek the lost, to answer those who pray. Glory and praise to our God. We continue with our prayer in the words of our baptisms. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Well, thanks again for being here for prayer. It's wonderful to be able to pray with you, Father Pat. Beautiful church. Thank you so much for, for helping us with that here. It's wonderful. Actually, you helped pray it into existence. I know it. With great perseverance, right? And Deacon Dale, it's wonderful to be with you uh, praying again and assisting. Let us ask for our God to unburden us. Today is World Mission Sunday when we are invited to unite in prayer with communities all around the world. Let us join our voices to that great harmony of praise. Lord Jesus, you came for everyone everywhere. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came that all may be one. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to teach us how to pray together. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Ever-living, ever-loving God, 
Grant that we may always conform our will to yours. Serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, Amalek came and waged war against Israel. Moses therefore said to Joshua, pick out certain men and tomorrow go out and engage Amalek in battle. I will be standing on top of the hill with the staff of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses told him. He engaged Amalek in battle. After Moses had climbed to the top of the hill with Aaron and Hur, as long as Moses kept his hands raised up, Israel had the better, the better of the, f the fight. But when he let his hands rest, Amalek had the better of the fight. Moses' hands, however, grew tired, so they put a rock in place for him to sit on. Meanwhile, Aaron and Hur supported his hands one on one side and one on the other, so that his hands re remained steady until sunset. And Joshua mowed down Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is number 83. Our help comes from the Lord. Our help comes from the Lord, 
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remain faithful to what you have learned and believed, because you know from whom you learned it, and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures, which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power, proclaim the word. Be persistent, whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, Encourage through all patience and teaching. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke glory to you O Lord Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary he said there was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being and a widow in that town used to come to him and say Render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time, the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, While it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Once upon a time, um, St. Bernard was uh, riding his horse from village to village, deeply lost in prayer. He was uh, all of a sudden awakened by a beggar who was at the side of the road, and he stopped and started to have some conversation with the beggar. And the beggar asked St. Bernard what he was doing on the horse. And St. Bernard told him, well, I was praying, but, you know, I get distracted a lot, so I was also distracted. And the beggar said, oh, well, I never get distracted in my prayer. St. Bernard said, well, that's nice. I'll give you this horse if you can pray the Our Father without any distraction. Well, okay, let's go for it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom. Say, does the saddle come along with it? <laughs> We're uh, invited today to pray always and not become weary. And we have two wonderful metaphors that are uh, given in our readings today. The first one is Moses, you know. Uh, the people, Joshua, were just being, you know, intimidated, violently overtaken by Amalek and his tribal troops. And uh, Moses goes up to the hill and uh, he prays. And he does so with a gesture, apparently a gesture like this. Uh, it's a gesture of intercession. And so he's interceding uh, for God to be with the people down in the valley down there as they're raging this battle. And it says that uh, he went up there with Aaron and her, and as long as, you know, as limited as he was, he kept his arms in the, in the gesture of intercession. Uh, they did better of the battle. But as soon as his arms began to sag and he couldn't keep them up, then Amalek did better in the battle. And so they apparently uh, rolled a rock up so he could sit down on it. And then Aaron and Hur both got along on one, one arm and then the other arm and they held him up until they were able to succeed fully in the battle. And that's a, a beautiful metaphor and a beautiful image uh, for how we deal with the fact that we, in fact, do become weary and that we, even in our prayer, can't do it alone. Uh, we need people to sustain us. Another uh, beautiful thing about this gesture is that it it ends up being the gesture that later on becomes the gesture of Jesus. Uh, as weary as he was, uh, as he was uh, uh, interceding for us on the cross, uh, and it becomes a gesture that we follow right backwards into the liturgy, the gesture of the priest as the priest prays the intercession to God for the community of believers and people, this beautiful gesture of prayer. So that's uh, one image that uh, we're given today. The other one is the relentless, the widow who doesn't quit. Uh, she absolutely <laughs> perseveres, you know, even in the face of uh, a very obstinate judge, a judge who has nothing to do with her. She is absolutely powerless, but she stays at it. And this judge begins to understand she's going to stay at it. And so, you know, the, uh, the thing is, is the woman's prayer is answered. And so we're told that our God, then, uh, is the one who also is very, very attentive, leaning in to the prayer of the heart. Now, this widow, powerless, was uh, praying for her own need. 
making sure that God would, you know, attend to her need and how needy we all are. And so she was like interceding for herself. And God, the God who knows the heart and sees the heart, would make sure that this widow's needs would be listened to. Beautiful stuff. Well, uh, St. Bernard and the monks, they have quite a bit to uh, tell us uh, about prayer and uh, about weariness in prayer and how to kind of go about uh, being prayerful uh, uh, in, in the weak human condition that we're in. Um, first of all, they admit that they're distracted. And they understand that being in the intensity and, uh, you know, the excellence, prayer of excellence and power, power of prayer is something that can't be sustained very long. We're going to fall right out of it with our weak human, human uh, nature. And so the monks have uh, understood and have introduced into Catholic practice uh, some very, very helpful things. Catholic practice is wonderful in helping us to sustain prayer and to uh, help us with uh, uh, the prayers over and over again with the rituals in particular that Catholics have. Um, I, I am a uh, child of the, the rituals of prayer. Um, one of the greatest lessons that I ever learned about the prayer of the heart came from uh, little Alan, a uh, seven-year, six or seven-year-old in Humphrey, Nebraska, who uh, went to one of these parish missions in the old uh, days. I guess, did I just call them the old days? When uh, the, I think actually Capuch and Friars were coming into this Franciscan church. And then they had the uh, basement of the church all turned into a gift shop, right? And so I found myself down shopping as a child in the gift shop, and I fell in love with a, with a ring with a cross on it. And I don't know whatever possessed me to want that ring really badly. So maybe I was clever then, too, as well as naive. As I was kneeling, maybe my mom was listening to my prayer uh, uh, at night before I went to bed, and I prayed to God to get that ring. But it was never going to happen because, you know, basically my family was very poor and, you know, wouldn't maybe do that. But I got that ring. And it made an impression on me that, in fact, prayer works, by golly. Uh, that, in fact, it gave me, I think, some kind of a trust, you know, that uh, asking for things that I need from God would be a, a really beautiful practice. And we have so many beautiful practices uh, in our uh, community of prayer. Mass is uh, kind of a high point for bringing us to prayer. Um, prayer at meal times, uh, the uh, liturgy of the hours, is uh, a way for us to pray. Uh, and so uh, these are introduced as a kind of a rhythm. So I think the important thing to understand is to uh, help ourselves get into a rhythm that's realistic for us and then continue it. Continue it with the repetition and uh, repeating it, entering into it, even when we're tired, even when we don't feel like it even when we know we're not, you know, feeling like we have the energy to do it. But that is uh, how our Catholic practice helps us through this. And we kind of thank the monks for admitting that they get distracted, you know, in prayer, and that we can introduce and use these, these kind of ways of praying. One of them that we're going to continue to do here today is you're prayerfully celebrating uh, our sisters and brothers in this community who are serving us in such beautiful ways. Uh, we are uh, celebrating today the volunteers and all of those who have uh, various roles in the delivery of social ministry and pastoral care ministry here 
in uh, Holy Family Parish. And I would at this point what, would like to invite those of you who are involved in these ministries to please come forward and stand up around here, around the uh, st bottom step of the altar facing our congregation. Please feel free to start uh, coming down and coming in front. This is one of the most beautiful scenes I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, is this beautiful. You are so beautiful. Uh, and uh, so beautiful for what, what, you, uh, what you offer and what you do in your service. Dear friends in Christ, in the body of Christ, there exists a wonderful variety of ministries which are happening in the name of Jesus in our community by vir virtue of our baptisms in Christ. We are all called to serve as ministers of social justice and pastoral care, providing love and care to all of God's people. Today we ask God to bless abundantly these men and women as they continue their ministry and their service. to you. These ministries, all of which contribute to the love and care of God's people, call you to be examples of Christian living in faith, conduct, and service. You must continue to strive to grow in holiness through the example of Jesus, who came to serve rather than to be served. I ask you who assume these ministries to respond to each of the following questions. Are you resolved to faithfully serve as servants of the Lord and work for the building up of this church and community? If so, say, I am. Are you resolved to carry out your responsibilities with the utmost care and compassion? If so, say, I am. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us pray with confidence to our Creator, asking for a blessing upon our sisters and brothers who stand before us. God of glory, your beloved Son has shown us that true discipleship comes from humble and contrite hearts. Bless our sisters and our brothers before us who have responded to the needs of this community and who wish to commit themselves to your service, grant that their ministry may be fruitful and pleasing in your sight. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you all very much. We invite us all now to please rise as we bring together our intercessions, the prayers of this community. As Aaron and Hur held up the arms of Moses, 
We lift up our own arms to you for help. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For God's holy church, may she always be an example of forgiveness to the world through her expression of compassion, charity, and gratitude, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, that our citizens may grow in mutual respect for each other's experiences and the values that we all hold in common, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the ability to see beyond our own needs and to bring God's love to people in need throughout the world by supporting the church in mission, combined collections, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the many members of our parish who participate in our social outreach and pastoral care ministries, that through their generous giving of self and service to others, they will receive God's graces and blessings, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That God our Father may reveal his Son, Christ Jesus, to our candidates and catechumens more and more with every passing day, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the parishioners visiting our sister parish in Chicago this weekend, that they grow in faith as they experience the culture and friendship of our brothers and sisters of Our Lady Gate of Heaven Parish, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially for Milton Adelmeyer, Virginia Brandel, Rita May Lutke, Alex Simon, and Carol Tomey, who died this past week, and for those remembered at this Mass, Robert Buck Dufresne, Bruce Lemke, and Cecilia Hallbach, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our own personal petitions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, hear the prayers of your people this day. Satisfy the longing of our hearts, be the object of our desire. Bless us with the knowledge of your lasting love for us. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Please be seated for the presentation. Please join in singing our preparation song, number 717, Shelter Me, O God.
Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Please rise and let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Let us lift up our hearts and give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image, setting us over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Rome, our Archbishop, with all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people your Son came to you. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed St. Joseph, his spouse, with the Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power. Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but rather on the faith and love of your people. Grant to us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of Christ be with all of you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Yes, Jesus, you are indeed the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May your body and blood bring us your life today. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and be prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. One more announcement. Do you like travel? St. Bernard. Make new friends, help others. Middle school and high school students are invited to be part of our mission trips next summer to Springfield, Illinois. St. Louis, Missouri, and Kansas City, Kansas. There is an informational meeting this Sunday in the Sacred Heart School at 10.15 a.m. for anyone interested in attending. Registrations will be available following the meeting. Beautiful. Thanks so much to everyone who helped us pray today. The music, fantastic. Uh, all of the roles of the liturgy at the altar, the amble, hospitality, Deacon Dale, you are fantastic. Welcome. <laughs> uh, most of all, though, to all of you for coming and witnessing your faith today. What a wonderful experience today of uh, the uh, outpouring of mission from this parish on the part of the social ministers and the pastoral care ministers. Thank you so much for being here and pulling together this world Mission Sunday in this way. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Please join in singing our closing song, number 604, All the Ends of the Earth. ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord, for the Lord of the earth, the maker of the sea, has come with justice for the world.